It is time for another daycare day in the life now with my newly updated Funshine Express curriculum and my new system and let's just start our day. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue back for another daycare day video. Every Friday I do a daycare related video. You can hear Bryony banging on stuff. This is real life guys. And then Mondays and Wednesdays I do some kind of like working mom inspired video, routine video, what I eat in a week, that kind of thing. Just like a lifestyle getting things done, balancing work and life kind of video. So make sure you're subscribed and have the little bell click so you know when I post a video. But today we're doing a daycare day in the life where I'm taking you through my entire daycare day. It's 6.15 right now in the morning. I already did my morning routine and I actually just posted a morning routine video so you can see what a typical morning routine is like for me. I wake up at 4 a.m. so if you wanna see why, go check out that video. But now I'm gonna just start like doing what I do to plan for the daycare and I'm gonna take you through um, I recently did a preschool routine video, so I'm not gonna like be heavily showing all of my preschool stuff, um, just little clips. So if you wanna see like a detailed video of what I do for preschool time, I'll link that video below. But let's just get started. I'm sure this video will be long, but definitely worth watching. So Celia spends the morning just about half an hour watching the Kindle, so that way I can get everything ready without kids destroying everything. And this one is into everything. I already fed her because this one got up early and went into her room and woke her up before I could tell her not to. So she's already fed. Normally I would have been feeding her right now, but I guess this just gives me more time to work on some stuff. So now that it is cold and flu season, I'm running my essential oils every morning before daycare and every night after daycare. I don't run them during just for liability's sake and just because you never really know, but I feel safe running them around my children and it just gets them in the air, I guess. I'm going to be filming a video pretty soon about how I stay healthy and keep my family healthy in daycare, but um, just to give you guys an idea, so this is the um, essential oil I have diffusing. It's the Immune Boom by Kids Safe by Plant Therapy. I also rub this on the girls' backs, down their spine, and then I put this on my wrists and the back of my neck. I get all my cups ready and plates out for breakfast. Sometimes I fill the milks if I have a lot of space in the fridge, but it's pretty full right now. And then I'm gonna get our water bottles out. It's actually the first day of the week today, so I'm gonna fill these up. And then get these bins out. And I normally put them on the fireplace hearth, but Bryony will get into them, so I just put them up here for now, as well as our wipes. And then I get the bibs out for the infant and Bryony. So once we head to breakfast, we're like ready to go. I don't like to have a lot to do once we come up for breakfast besides actually making breakfast. So I just lay those out. The high chairs are ready to go. And then I get my papers and crayons all ready for the kids so that right when they come up, they can start coloring so that I don't have to do that step once we come up here and they color while I make breakfast. It's just something to get them to do so they're not waiting and getting into everything and being crazy or crazier than normal. And then the babies, I just give a little something to eat, whether it's a mesh feeder, some crunchies, some blueberries, something like that. I will not lie, guys. I have had a really rough last week. This little one, I don't know what her deal is, but she's been so fussy, like all day long, all night long so crabby like wanting me all the time which is really frustrating um i love her but i can't be holding her all day i don't know if it's separation anxiety or teething she doesn't seem sick she hasn't had a fever or anything um, i don't know so I'm dealing with that um i actually took like a mental health day i guess you could call it yesterday um, which was a monday because it's just been we had halloween last week which was the kids were just crazy and with her and just some other things going on it just was I just needed a day to catch up um, and Sam's been working like every weekend so I don't ever want to come across like I have it all together all the time my life is perfect um, I have never taken a mental health day but I did yesterday and my feelings are really understanding I'm very grateful for that um, like I can't pour into everybody else if I am needing somebody to pour into me you know what I mean so um yeah so there, there's a little real life I don't know this hopefully I can get this video filmed today without her screaming at me usually when the kids get here it's better but oh when they're not she's just like on me all the time 
And then I also set out our blankets before we head down for the day so that this is where the kids sit during our showtime while I'm making lunch. I don't have them sit on here because they get stuff everywhere. For example, I let them sit on here during Jamie movie days, which we had about two weeks ago, and I put blankets all over. The one time a kid gets a horrifically bloody nose is on this couch, and thankfully I had those blankets there. It did get on the rug, but I got it out. So that's why we sit on the floor. While we wait for everybody to get here, I We'll pull out our curriculum stuff, and since I ended up closing yesterday, I'm going to have to combine these. But if you want to know why I use these, how I use these, I will link to my preschool setup video so you can learn about that. Often we'll pull out a couple table activities in the morning just for something fresh. And so Celia is doing this alphabet train, and on the back it says the name of whatever it is, and she's matching it to the letter in the train. Okay. You just gotta stick it or just lay it on top and then mom will get it. There you go. Now baby and Brainy are playing together in their little playpen. I fill out these daily sheets for the day. I just kind of fill in what I know for sure I will be doing. Um, and I can always erase because I do it in pencil but it just saves me time later on. It's close to 8. Heating up the bottle for the baby. Normally feed her at 9.30 but she didn't eat at her normal time this morning so and brain screening. Okay, so the kids are having these egg cheese roll-ups. These are actually created by San. It's gonna be on our Patreon one of the upcoming months, so stay tuned for that. Milks for the kids. I ended up only having five kids, four kids, one baby for breakfast. A couple are coming later and one comes on the preschool bus after preschool, which is at lunchtime. And then I'm having two egg muffins I prepped on Sunday with some salsa and sour cream. So what do you think of those? Mm -hmm. You like them? Wow, I'm actually really impressed and surprised. Thumbs up? <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Once we're done, I just bring these into the kitchen and leave them until lunchtime because they get really squirrely at this point. Kids ate really fast today, so um, got the baby fed, got Branny fed, got the babies changed, and then laid them down for their nap. Waiting on two other kids to get here, and then we're gonna start preschool time. Hello, Celia. Hello, Celia. Hello, Celia. We're glad that you are here. Hi, Celia. Celia is our line leader, so she's gonna pick our question. The purple one. The purple one? No, not the purple This one? That purple, yeah. Okay. The pinky one. I like it. Ooh, okay. So, Celia, have you ever been to the dentist? Yeah. And what was your favorite part? Getting a toy. Getting a toy. What kind of toy did you get? Because you went two weeks ago. Ducky. ducky a ducky. ducky. Okay, pass the ball to a friend. Okay, Seals, which one would you like to pick? Oh, let's look at... Oh, can you guys make that face? What do you think he's feeling? Scared. Scared. What do you think he's scared of? He gets scared of um, his candy um, just came alive and his dream come true. And... And he didn't like that. It was big and oh. scary. And, and, he, and it chased him all over the place. Oh, that is pretty room. scary. Okay. Well, we haven't learned G yet. So say it with me. A is for apple. B is for balloons. C is for cookie. D is for dog. E is for elephant. And last one we've learned so far. F is for fish. Good job. Okay, we've got moon, bear, pumpkin. Moon, bear, pumpkin. Does this one have a pumpkin on it? Yes. Okay, let's do the counting. One. Does this have the number six on it? Yeah. Good job. Let's learn G and seven, so we're gonna practice writing them. We're nine in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and 
One fell out. out. Now there's one, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Now we're making our own ten in the bed, and these are the little felt beds that they're gonna put them in. So while the babies are just finishing their nap and kids are doing the craft and debating whether we're gonna go for a walk, but it is raining. And I know not all of them have rain boots, so probably gonna stay in today. I hate staying in all day, but um, I don't really want to go out and get all soaked. So the kids are now playing really nice with their ten in a bed and some clipple blocks and things like that. By now, I normally would have gotten Bryony and the baby up, but they are still sleeping. And since it's the first day of the week and we just had daylight savings time this weekend, I'm just gonna let them sleep a little bit longer, maybe like five more minutes. Um, just cause I don't want them screaming all lunch, really tired and ready for nap. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and it's still raining. So I think we're gonna play in the basement the rest of the morning. Somebody's awake. <laughs> Currently in the basement now, a bunch more playing duplo blocks. This crazy one stays on the other side, so they, she can play with the dramatic toy stuff, but not, not be getting into all of their creation. I'm really working on like a one to two bin out at a time rule, so that we don't just have toys everywhere and they're not even playing with them. So like the duplos, and they're doing really well with those, and the other kids that want to play with the kitchen and stuff are in the other room and I can see everybody. Never a second goes by where she's either crying or climbing. What are you doing? You want to play with this one? Why don't we get it down so you can do this safely? There. There you go. Can you push on it? There you go. It's about 10.40. We cleaned up. We are getting our nap stuff out and picking out books. And I always get out a bunch of special hey, books that they don't have every day. Right, guys? Yep, that is the Wizard of Oz. You want to look at that one? So we just got upstairs. Kids are in watching a show treehouse detectives um i got the babies in a playpen right here hopefully they will not scream at me this is by far my most stressful part of the day because they get super fussy and i cannot be feeding them and watching for a bus out this door to come and cooking because i'm like going to be making pasta today i can't be holding them um so yeah it's a stressful part of the day not gonna lie I always start by just like getting everything out that I need for my lunch, for the kids' lunches. Um, I get the baby's breast milk out to thaw, and then they also puree her food. So I just have these in the freezer. I'm gonna run this in her milk under hot water and then warm up her bottle for lunch as well. Sometimes they can last playing, sometimes they just can't. Today is one of the just can't. One is eating over here, and one and Brianie's eating here, so that I can finish lunch and wait for the bus. Um, that's what makes it tricky. I wait for a bus, and sometimes it comes right at 11, and sometimes it comes at 11:30. So, a very big window of time we have to just wait. So here's our lunch today: watermelon, celery with ranch, buttered noodles, and then chicken alfredo. I keep it separate because some kids don't like it mixed together. Some kids don't like the chicken. Pretty much everybody loves the pasta. So that's another way. I've had a lot of people ask about picky eaters. That's another thing I do. Like if it's something I know that kids won't eat mixed together, I just leave it separate. And then if they want to eat the extra, they can mix it. And if they don't, then they don't have to. And some kids don't like their food mix. And then my lunch is just some spinach, some salad mix, some frozen meatballs I heat up, and I put a little bit of, tiny bit of marinara and some Alfredo, salt and pepper, and some cheese. And then I have extra for the kids. If they clean their plates, um, then they can have extra. Because we don't like to teach about waste. Um, but I will sometimes if a kid is super duper picky. If they just try the thing they don't like and eat everything else, then I'll give them a little more of what they really like. I'm always eating and feeding a baby at the same time. Multitasking. Just grateful for this table where everybody can sit at one time. Here's our waist. I'd say that's pretty darn good for however, for seven kids who are eating it. Um, and then they have all their plates and forks and then all the stuff I throw away is in here. And then I just corral everything else over here to put in the dishwasher to save and that kind of thing. The baby's right here. She just kind of hangs out and watches me. 
because she's pretty tired. The kids are all doing a dance party over here to some YouTube dance songs. Um, and then they all go potty right down the steps here one by one. Um, I call them down and then I clean the kitchen, they all go potty, and then we get ready for nap. Dishwasher's full, gonna run it. And I have all these to hand wash as well. Okay, just quickly wiped all the tables and the counters. Gonna quick do a sweep vac with my shark over here. So it's almost one o'clock and I just finally got everybody down. I didn't film it because it's just kind of like a process changing the babies laying them down getting the kids laid down books figured out calming them getting the fans hooked up and the monitors on and then getting Bryony laid down and then getting Celia laid down but they're all falling asleep right now um, so now until about three o'clock is my time got the monitors on but we're pretty well oiled machine now that nobody gets up until I get them up so if you guys are wondering what I do during nap, it's different every day. I'm normally at the computer working on something. Today I've got to pick out birthday gifts for some family and some daycare kids and um, work on Christmas planning for the daycare. I'm also going to be planning our Thanksgiving party that's next Friday with my daycare because I have a bunch of kids gone the actual week of Thanksgiving. So yeah, I'm mostly working. I do try to take like half an hour to myself, but I'm usually like putting away laundry or cleaning up more of the kitchen or something like that. But um, I'm mostly working on life and daycare stuff. I don't do a lot of YouTube stuff really at all during daycare. I do that um, in the mornings and on the weekends, but I use this time to calm my mind. Um, and sometimes I do have, you know, kids acting up or babies crying or whatever. So I'm always like ready to drop everything. Just after three, getting everybody up, we're all gonna go to the bathroom change diapers and head upstairs for snack. Simple snack today, crackers and cheese. During snack I feed the baby and read some books. So after snack, it's like 4.30 right now almost. Um, we just play, normally if it's nice out we go outside, but it's been rainy dreary all day and now it's getting dark really early because of daylight savings time. So we'll read books, we'll play, Sam's down here tickling Bryony. Um, but I'm just, now that it's 4.30, I have alarms on my phone that remind me to like go around and sanitize. So sometimes I'll just grab some Lysol wipes and like wipe here, wipe the doorknobs, light switches, that kind of thing. Um, and just like wrap up for the day, get the diaper garbage ready to go outside. Just basic stuff like that. Well guys, that's the end of my daycare day. It's actually a different day that I'm filming this because the end of the day is very crazy. Me cleaning. The bathroom taking out the garbage and then nighttime stuff so if you want to see my end of daycare routine I'll put a link to that video below um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite part was and let me know what's something you do that's different than what I do if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and as always I will see you guys next time bye guys